This is a story that I wanted to tell for personal reasons, also because I wanted to impact the culture, maybe in a different way, and make adoption feel more accessible for people out there, Sims remarked. I think we have this false impression of people who adopt or do foster care that they must be superhuman, or something like that, and that's not the case. We're normal people, and I want people to feel how I feel about the process that we went through, and about my son, and about the family that God has has brought together for us. So I hope it encourages people to explore that option. Sims elaborated on his desire to decrease the apprehension many aspiring couples and families feel about adoption in a behind-the-scenes video published on his YouTube page. I wrote, you, er mom, and me, about my family's journey to finding each other. My son was born in an orphanage in Colombia, and he lived there for the first three years of his life. So it was really a years-long journey to our family, finding each other, and people say things like, it's so great what you did for him, or, wow, you really saved his life, and things like that that are well-meaning but misguided, because my wife and I know that, really, we're the lucky ones, because our Sims, an Alabama native, quarantined in Colombia for two weeks in September 2020 before meeting their son for the first time. Sims recalled how he and his wife were unable to conceive a child some years ago. He shared, when I was working in the White House back in the beginning of the Trump administration, my wife and I had been trying to grow our family for a long time and, it just wasn't really in God's plan at that point in our lives. We started exploring the possibility of adoption, and we kind of landed on Colombia as a great option, because the timeline was a lot shorter than other countries, and we had some friends on the He continued, so we went through the process and ended up adopting a three-year-old little boy that we named Shepard. We call him Shep, and so it was an amazing journey. Last week has been one year since he's been a part of our family. It's been really, really cool to come in a dad to say the least. He remarked, you, er mom, and me, kind of tracks the whole journey of what, it, feels like to know that you have a son out there, or a child out there, somewhere who's going to be yours, you don't even know where he is, or who he is yet. I was, then able to finish, the song, when I actually saw him for the first time and picked him